Good morning, world. It's a brand new day. I am in New Hampshire's Free State Project. We are about to attend Liberty Forum. Today's special event coverage is brought to you by BitShares. So I'm checked in, I've got my press pass, there will be speeches, there will be vendors, and there will be plenty of attendees. So let's get started, shall we? First we saw a presentation by MadeSafe, a software project to decentralize the internet that's been 10 years in the works. Representative Paige Peterson told us to expect MadeSafe's first minimum viable product release at the end of this month. Next was Library, an early stage blockchain and currency project with a focus on the hosting and distribution of decentralized content, like a streaming BitTorrent with library tokens as incentives. Then we spoke with a project called Ubiquity, whose director Christian Saucier is marketing colored coins on Bitcoin's blockchain to organizations that register property titles. And you may remember Arcade City, the recently launched ride-sharing mobile app by former Uber driver Christopher David. Arcade City allows drivers and riders to decide payment details between themselves, and that allows for cryptocurrency. Aside from presentations by software teams, Liberty Forum attendees were most excited to see a live Q&A session with Edward Snowden himself. Hundreds of viewers donned Ed Snowden masks and cheered heartily as the whistleblower eschewed national politics in favor of individual empowerment through technology. Global celebrities aside, the Daily Decrypt wanted to get a sense of how free staters use cryptocurrency in their day-to-day -day lives. And do forgive our subtitles, we accidentally dropped our audio recorder in a toilet toward the end of Liberty Forum. Have you ever used Bitcoin in New Hampshire? Yes. What did you use it on? Um, food, small merchandise and stuff. You've sold things at Port Fest for Bitcoin, haven't you? Yes. What were you selling? Uh, t-shirts and pens. T-shirts and pens. And how, how were your sales? Really good. Actually, I think I bought some Coblock things too with Bitcoin. How have you used cryptocurrency in New Hampshire? I'm actually uh, a chiropractor. I've simply got patients before because they'll come up and ask if I take Bitcoin. Let's just have full disclosure. I just paid you Bitcoin for a chiropractic treatment. That's true. Let's just say it like it is. <laughs> uh, well, I use it. There's a chocolate shop right downtown. You can buy some great chocolate. I gotta show you this place if you haven't seen it yet. I have a real estate business. Uh, I, I buy real estate. That's what my husband and I do. And uh, would you accept Bitcoin if you were to sell real estate? Absolutely. I use it on beer. I use it in the community market program. I use it uh, online for personal. I arrived here about a year ago, and within three days, I had found someone who was willing to sell me a car for Bitcoin. Well, I've used cryptocurrency actually for a variety of different things last night. I had a number of politicians, including Jim Rubens and Evan Wayne, and everybody else accepting Have you ever used cryptocurrency in New Hampshire? Oh yes, I use it all the time on a frequent basis. What did you use it on? Uh, Agoras vendors. I use it at a community market day we have here in town. Uh, just in uh, person to person transactions. Yes, I have. I've used cryptocurrency at Murphy's Tap Room to buy beers and stuff. Um, most of it's transactions with friends like, hey, I'll uh, pay cash and uh, send me some Bitcoin. In New Hampshire? No, no, I have not. Have you ever used it before? Yes. What did you use it on? Stuff. We know what that means. Liberty Forum 2016 wrapped up with an Oscar-style award ceremony for Free State Project participants, which was followed by a DJ'd dance party. And that has been Liberty Forum 2016! The cryptocurrency is strong with this one! 
Today's episode is brought to you by BitShares, a currency whose newest software version, Chameleon, will be released tomorrow, February 23rd. Chameleon will offer a new privacy mode for all users, and it can be downloaded at bitshares.org or tried with no downloads at all just by visiting openledger.info. Good morning, Freedom. Have a great day. 